it was like I grew up with a family that I knew. I knew so many of the people there. Well, we were regarded as a country bumpkins, I suppose, in a way. You know, we were regarded not in the same league as what they were, but I think we pulled us off by uh, how we... The track was brilliant to ride on and, and always have been, and it still is to this day. 65, the first meeting was held there, and Ollie Nigren roared round and did the opening four laps and set a track record, and Terry Betts won the first meeting, and thousands of people turned up, and instantly it was, it was the new place to be. I told them what I thought of them at that time because that's how I've always been. Mm. So it was a huge, huge thing that put Kingsley on the sporting map, really. I had a lot of expectations on me after winning the, the first meeting ever held at Lynn, and uh, I always felt that I owed it to people to do the best I could. And well, Betsy used to look after the track square, well, it's not really saying that that was a good thing, you know, I mean, Betsy's mechanical knowledge at the time, he didn't do a great deal of bikes and his bikes were never the best looking, but, you know, that was always all right. And I, this tracks were actually loved. He was fantastic, you know, I loved every minute with Morris, he was like a second dad to me, really, and, you know. You know, you'd go up to you know, Wolfham Abbey, do your deal, and from that day on, you know, you'd, you'd never had a problem, that was your deal. He used to say, when I got my leg all good bike, I grew a pair of horns and a pair of fangs like Jekyll and Hyde, you know. Even he put you in the fence as soon as look at you uh, if, you th if he thought you were going <laughs> to pass him. Almost sort of freakish accidents, if you like. It, it does make you, as, as a, an administrator and as a, as a promoter, stop and think, should I be doing this? He hits you. I think that really did make me go off speedway. I had no idea what I was going to be, I didn't ask what I was going to be paid or anything. I didn't even know if I was going to be paid. That didn't come into it, I just did it for a bit of fun, you know. I was a big supporter of Howard Cole, Ian Tidley Turner. Do you know, my whole career, I never believed in myself. Every time I went out, before I went out, I, I, I never thought I'd win anything. And at this time I would have been probably 12, 13 years old, I remember I used to be one of those brats hanging over the fence. Can I have your autograph, please? Can I have your autograph? Before I rode, I was a big fan and a big fan of Kings Lynn and to, to, to be successful for them did mean a lot to me. Just to shut me up, they gave me their autograph. I must have had Ian Turner's about 50 times, if not 500. But my little child, she was distraught about it and she she said, I'm not having it, Terry's not leaving. If he's riding, he's going to be riding at King's Lynn. He and, and you know, those who, who have supported him forever and a day, or many of them, were pretty upset about it. But don't be wrong about this. I was upset about it. He'd been a mate of mine for 15 years. Dave Jessup in red for the stars in blue and Nigel Spar showing white for Leslie Les Collins, Bill Hearn out in yellow and black. And I guess there was a, a fraternity that sort of thought, well, he'll never replace Betsy, which I, I probably didn't in their eyes, for sure. He's looking for the inside line around Les Collins, and he gets it. Good ride, this one so far from Jessup. I wanted a guarantee. Because I'd hurt my leg early on in my life, and I was told I want to walk again, I wanted so much a week or a month or whatever, plus some point money. I was married when I was 19. I wanted a little bit more security, level playing field for, for the family, etc. Over by Jessup, and one that's certainly good enough to once again put him back in first place, or is it? Around the pits turn, and Collins really looking for the inside line now, and it's side-by-side -side stuff by these two up front. A real speedway duel in the sunshine here at Salabar Road this afternoon. Jessup, three victories to his credit so far. This is hardest race by far. He saw Pearly as the business, and... Uh, I don't know what the fans thought of him, but they certainly didn't seem to have the same regard for him as they did for, for a lot of, all, all the other riders in the team. The bravery and, and the, the contortions and the, the athleticism on a bike uh, and always seeming to be on just a, a centimetre away from potential disaster. I was a Kings Inn fan and if I was going to ride for anybody it was going to be for Kings and when we had success as a team, of course I was so happy about that, yeah. You didn't have to be a genius to know that 
very quickly he was going to be very good. Uh, you know, obviously the British Championships, the World Team Cups, and then with the two World Championships, the Speedway and the Long Track, they were good times. Um, the way he, he rode, the way he prepared, the way he handled himself, all of those things, uh, let's be right, were, were exceptional for a teenager. And people tend, of course, to say, well, where did it all go wrong? And we haven't got long enough to analyse where or how or why or who was to blame. And You know, unfortunately, things went off track, off the rails, sort of in 81. Um, and things happened. Uh, and my enthusiasm just went for it. Uh, Let's face it, when you're 18 or 20 and that, you're going to live forever. Nobody's going to tell you what to do. No different than when I was 18 at Speedway and I was as wayward as probably what Michael was then. I didn't see how, how it ever worked. I didn't see they were ever going to get anything for their money, you know. Um, so it was either going to be a choice between Kings Lynn or Oxford who had come back in for me that year. was trying to buy me to go there. Um, in, you know, so I ended up choosing to, to ride at Kings Lynn, um, I think basically because it was such a nice track, you know, it was a, it was a lovely place to ride. And uh, Yeah, I, I love the place, you know, I, I respect what Buster Chapman has done there, he's done a tremendous job with the stadium. I've known Buster from real early days when I was practicing, we used to practice together because Buster rode, so we go back a long way. Um, and he runs a great speedway, you know, the track's always superb, which Kingsland was always renowned for anyway.